So today, oh, you're like still adjusting. Oh, sorry. Waiting on you, princess. I'm sorry. Every time I try and start my intro, I look over and you're like, Just playing with my hair and doing like, something. <laughs> okay, sorry. Go ahead. Are you ready? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. That was like. The, I know. I'm such a jerk. That was like the fifth time I tried to do our intro. God. Just wait till you do the outro out. together. You ready? Yep. Today we are talking about curling irons. Yay! And specifically, we are talking about two of the hottest ones on the market right ha -ha, now. Haha, get it? Hot. Hot. Ah, pun intended. See what, har, she, har. see what she did there? T3 and the Dry Bar 3 Day Bender. I like the yellow because, I mean, it's kind of like that bumblebee yeah. yellow color. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the 3 Day Bender is a 1 inch uh, curling iron and... Whoa, it swivels! Yeah, so the cool thing about it is that it swivels. So this is what I like best about it because you clip it and instead of trying to like twist your wrist, you just literally hold it and then you swivel it. Oh, that's and smart. it makes it infinitely faster to do your hair. This, this little clip is super thin yeah i don't know if that's a good thing it, it actually is does it get hot too yes the cl clip gets hot as well i don't know if you've used the uh drugstore brand curling irons before where like they're really cheap and then you go like this and you curl and you can see a kink in your hair where oh, the, where the clip is that. right sure. um and so before i had these fancy ones that's what would happen i'd have like little kinks throughout the crown of my hair where She's the clip kinky. was <laughs> har har um but this clip is so thin and it what does it say on it it says peace love and blowouts <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny um and so this clip is so thin and it's such so well made that you never get those kinks in your hair okay that's really cool um it goes up to 440 which is really cool and it is 135 bucks on its own or uh, Sephora has a deal right now where it comes in a pack with a blow dryer, some hair products, a brush for $2.99 um, and usually Nordstrom or Ulta at some point during the year will have a little discounted kit. $135 seems kind of pricey for a curling iron. Yes? No? Um, well, not for a high-end one. Um, of course, if you're thinking about the drugstore ones, of course, you can get one for 20 bucks. But like yeah. I said, I have a giant drawer full of these cheap curling irons, and they never work. Um, and then I picked up these, and it was, like, life-changing, which okay. is why I'm doing a video, because I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have to, like, talk about these products because they're so good. And actually, this one's 185 so oh my gosh. More. I find that these just work so much better and usually it'll take like, I don't know, 40 minutes to do my hair, but with these tools, it'll take like literally 15 minutes or less. Oops. So this one heats up really fast. It heats up in like 60 seconds. I do love those. This like, one that feature. takes like twice the amount of time, but we're only talking about like two minutes or okay. maybe probably less than two minutes, but I do find that this takes a little bit longer to heat up. Um, but the time difference is like nominal. It still heats up really fast. So this one has some kind of fancy ionic bioceramic technology um, that they claim will reduce frizz and smooth out your hair and whatnot. I love when they get all high tech and fancy. Right, so I don't actually understand what the technology is, but it's <laughs> They a, say fancy words right, and, and you're, you're like, like oh, oh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. Yeah. I like less frizz in my hair. Right? Yeah. Um, okay, so let me talk about the T3. The T3, this one is a one and a quarter inch barrel, so it's a little bit uh, thicker. thicker. Um, it's, I like this little rose gold color oh, on the handle. So it's so beautiful. pretty. It heats up to 410. So not as hot, as hot. but uh, I mean, decently hot. As hot as you need it to be, really. I mean, 30 degrees, I don't know if that's much of a difference. Like I said, this one is 185 but I think it's a little bit more expensive because you can take this top part off completely. And do what with it? Um, you, buy, you can buy separate ones to screw on. Oh, so, like different size barrels yeah. or something? Okay. Yeah, and some of them are tapered, some of them are smaller, so you get 
there's actually a kit out there where you get the barrel um, and you get three different wands that you can interchange. Okay, okay. For like different looks. This one is tourmaline and ceramic. Ooh. I think the ceramic technology is supposed to be really good. It'll heat your hair evenly so you won't get like burnt spots. Hot spots. Um, but I will say this one is really light and this one is super heavy. Like feel it. Okay. The ceramic right. makes it really right. heavy. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. It seems, I mean, that's cool and they're different sizes, but do you really need to have both of them? Right. So the reason why I brought both today is because I feel like I need both in my collection because there's definite pros and cons to both of these. I'm um, intrigued. Tell me more. Like I said, this one is really heavy, so it's harder to wield. Um, this one's really light. It... I can do my hair faster with this one. These buttons are really flimsy. You can press it really easily when you're curling. That's annoying. Yeah. Um, whereas this button, it's it's hard it's to... It's more substantial. Right, and you, yeah. You're going to feel it when you're pushing. Yeah. With this one, I mean, clearly they're different barrel sizes, so you'll get different kind of curls. But theoretically, with both of them, either one of them, you could get either the beachy curls, the beachy waves, or you get these big... Like just based on how long you hold curls. it. Yeah, or the way that you hold it. This one is like a rock star for beachy waves. Like literally, if you want that look, you will get that look every single time flawlessly within 15 minutes, regardless of how much hair you have. And that so, is quite the sales pitch. Yeah, like that's this. A promise. That's why I'm like, I need this in my life. That's why you're like, I can't let this yeah, go from my right. life and just have the one. But I cannot for the life of me with this one achieve these big glamour... Uh, curls hmm. which is why I need this one in my life because to get these big glamour curls you need something like this that well, could it also be because this one has like the larger barrel right and that's what I was saying um, but theoretically you should be able to get both looks with either one of these it's just that one does it better than the other um, you can get waves from this one too if you just you know wrap it around the barrel um, but since it is wider, like the the beachy waves are looser and they fall out. Quicker. Right. I would have to say though, I think the pro on this one is it has like a little indicator at the end, so it actually has its own like built-in stand. And as right. I'm looking at this here, this one there's comes, like a separate piece. Yeah, and then you, you which set is it great. But what piece. if you lose it? This one, I'm always looking for this piece because I'm digging I'm saying, in that drawer, right? my giant drawer of hot tools, and I'm like, where is it? I think that would be a con for me. Like, yeah. there should be a little tip or something that you should right. be able to set it down on a flat surface and not be right. afraid of it rolling off yeah. the counter. So there's definite pros and cons of both. It depends on what you're looking for. And I like these big voluminous curls just as much as I like the beachy curl waves. Um, so I use both of these equally as much to demonstrate on Shelly. Um, and I'll, Don't burn me. I'll do like half of her hair with one and half of her hair with <laughs> the other and so what you want to do is smooth it once kind of go in the middle and then you're rolling it on one end of it and then you're twisting on the other and then there you go so twist with your one hand and then wrap with the other See, and I think that's a really good tip because a lot of people will go to the end of their hair and then start rolling up. And usually the end of your hair doesn't need as much heat as like the middle or the top damage, of your hair. And then you damage and the ends how, of your hair. That's how you get split in. Yeah, so a lot of those people, like if you're watching that, don't take your hair all, all the way to the end with your curling iron and roll it up. Like do as she's saying, do it in the middle, wrap the hair around. Yeah, and that's why I love, love, love this curling iron it's because it's so much easier to do the middle um, right. wrapping because you're you're twisting it on this end and then you're wrapping it on the other and it makes it so much faster to do your hair okay so you're gonna look like you have these really tight curls but what I like to do is just let it cool down and then you run your finger through it so that it has a nice hold throughout the day and for people out there who did want a curl that lasts a little longer like because like it's still hot as you like let go, you could kind of keep it like pinned up. Yeah. And then uh, when they get cool, like let it go and you would have a tighter curl. Also what you can do is you can spray the strand beforehand 
curl it, wait for it to cool, and then spray it again, and that's how you can get a hold that lasts. Okay, we're almost done with half your head. See, that is really fast. That's Usually really fast. it would take me like a lot longer. Yeah. And we'll sit. just let this kind of sit and kind of cool because some of these curls are still a little bit hot. Okay, so with this one, it's a little bit more difficult to use just because like one, it's heavier, and two, it doesn't like twirl like the other one, so you kind of have to like uh, twirl with your wrists, kind of. Okay. You so know, it's you more have work. To, like, yeah, <laughs> you have to turn it with your wrist, and it's heavy, so turning it with your wrist is a little bit difficult. Okay. So maybe that's definitely a pro of the other one is it's not going to yeah. hurt your wrist. Right. And it just makes it go faster too. Like it takes significantly longer for me to do one curl. So I know it's it's cool to have both and they have different purposes, but if you only could choose one on your desert island that actually has power, which one would you take with you? Uh, three day bender for sure. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm on my last curl. This was still pretty fast, but I feel like I think the other the three-day bender yeah, was faster. Was faster. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I've just done both sides of your hair, and I'm just gonna spray it, and then we're gonna like loosen it up, and you can tell me which side okay. you like the best. You're so fancy. <laughs> okay. Now I know how you feel like three times a week going to the getting my blowout. I don't know if you guys know this. Oh, that's my eye. So, <laughs> Jade goes and gets blowouts like three times a week, so she knows very well all of these tools and all the stuff that goes in your hair. Yeah. Okay, so why don't you take a look? Okay, okay I see what you mean about like beachy, loose waves. Yes. And I feel like both sides of like my hair, like my hair looks like shiny. And like right, healthy. Yeah. Both of the both of the curling irons do a really good job of like smoothing your hair yeah. and making it just kind of give it that luster and it's smooth and it's shiny and it's just beautiful. Actually, I have to say I'm impressed. I would say if I had to choose one, I would probably go with the, the, the dry, dry bar. bar. Yeah, I feel like you could achieve like a beachy, you know, loose wave with. The tighter curling iron barrel like I think if you played around with it and it was really cool how it like totally heated up so fast mm -hmm. and that rotating part is really cool and the fact that it's so light I think for saving an extra $50 I think I like the curling iron better even if they were yeah. the same price right okay well there you have it I mean I personally think they both have a place in my collection just because they do different things and based on you know, my mood that day, like what kind of style I want. Um, I'll go with either one or the other. If you like something like this, that's just like beachy and beautiful and flowy, like definitely this one is the winner. Um, if you're not very advanced, if you're just a beginner at doing hair, this one is your best friend because anybody can pick up this and get voluminous, beautiful, beachy curls like this every single time. It's this technology, the twirling that is like absolute genius that is really smart yeah okay cool if you guys uh have tried either one of these products and if you like one better than the other let us know um we'd love to hear your thoughts on these items as well no not gonna do the outro <laughs> <laughs> I just, I was not expecting, you were talking still, so why I mean, would I, like, uh, interrupt you to be like, we're done talking here. You were going right into I it. I was like, I, I can't. You were on a roll. I was on a roll. You were totally on a roll. I mean, all I wanted to say was that I want to know what other people think, but. I thought you, that part came across very well. But other than that, I'm like, ugh, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to do the outro. hate doing the outro. <laughs> if you guys watch our series continuously, you know how much I hate doing the outro. Yeah, but if you also watch the series, you know how much I love making her do the outro. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this side-by-side -side comparison and that you took something away from it. I think, yeah, that was yeah. totally okay. educational in a fun way.
Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> really? <laughs> you have to think though. Every single video could be someone's first video. Okay. So even though it sucks to have to say the same thing in every intro or outro, it's somebody's first time watching the video. <sighs> yeah, I guess just I guess I don't like it because it sounds so like it's so monotonous. Like we say the same exact thing. Like make sure you subscribe and like. But, but really, we do want you to subscribe. Hit like and subscribe. <laughs> it's just more fun to sit here with you. Uh. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.